OK, so this is a question I'm asked a million times a day, and that is no exaggeration. And that question is, how do I automatically just log into my computer? How do I get rid of the password? How do I get how do I just get it so that I switch the computer on and it just logs in directly to my desktop so I can just get going? Well, stick around. This video is going to show you how. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, we need to determine what type of account you've got on your computer. There's generally two types of accounts. There's a local account and there's a Microsoft account. Now, you might find this is different if it's a business machine. I'm aiming this video more at personal home users. If you've got a business machine, then please consult your company before following this device. It might be that it's a stipulation of your company to have a password on your computer. And please do bear in mind, I know I'm stating the obvious here, if you do remove the password from your computer, then it means anyone can gain access to your files. So let's just check out what type of account you've actually got. So to do this in Windows 11, just click on the start button. That's the button just down at the bottom of the screen, usually in the middle or to the left, it's the four blue boxes and then click on settings. And then on the left there, click on accounts and you will see your username up there. And underneath your username, if it's got local account, then all you simply need to do is just scroll down, go down to sign in options, left click once, and then go down to password, left click once, and just click change, which is just to the right of your all set up. Click on that, type in the password that you normally use to get into the computer and then just click on next. And then when it comes to setting a new password, just leave all of this blank. Don't put anything in new password, confirm password or password hint. Just click next and then click finish. And then you will notice the next time you go to turn your machine on, it shouldn't ask you for a password. But if when you go into the start button and then into settings and then into accounts at the top of the screen, you have got an email address underneath your name, then you've got a Microsoft account. So what we've got to do there is we've got to stop you from logging in with your Microsoft account. Unfortunately, there is no way of logging in without a password if your computer is logging in via your Microsoft account. So that's what we're going to have to do. Now, don't worry, this won't stop things from working on your computer. You may well find that you have to sign into things like perhaps OneDrive again. You might have to sign into Edge again just one time with your Microsoft password. So do make sure you know that password. So to stop you from signing in with a Microsoft account, all you do is you just go down to your info. You might have to scroll down to get to that, but click on your info. And halfway down the screen under account settings, you should see this sign in with a local account instead. That's just to the right of Microsoft account. So click on sign in with a local account instead. OK, so now it gives us a warning, says, are you sure you want to switch to a local account? Windows works better when you sign in with them with Microsoft. Switching to a local account means you won't see your personalized settings on all your devices and you might be asked to sign in again if you want to access info associated with your account. If you still want to continue, go to the next step to verify your identity. So click on next. That's, of course, if you're happy with all that. And then it wants you to type in either your PIN number or your password. Now, that is what you normally log into the computer with. So I'm typing in my PIN. OK, so it's given us a username here. Um, it's suggested one. Now, we can change that if we want. I mean, it's given us Chris underscore G3. I don't really want all that. So I'm just going to have, uh, I don't know, Chris W as my username. If you type in a username that's already been used on the computer, then it will tell you. I know I've already got a user on this computer called Chris, so that's why I'm calling it Chris W. OK, and here under new password, confirm password and hint, leave these blank. Do not type anything in these. Just click next. 
And there we go. So it says here, switch to a local account. Chris W, local account, you're almost finished. Make sure that you save your work before you sign out and use your new local account info the next time you sign in. So all you do is just click sign out and finish. And there you go, it's signing out. And the next time I turn my computer on, it should automatically log in to me. So here we go, Windows is now starting up. And as you can see, it's going straight into Chris W. Now, if I have got other users on this system and I wanna log into another user, then I can just click on the start button just down there and then click on Chris W and I can either sign out or I can click on the three dots and sign in as the other user. But there you go, that guide showed you how you can remove your password for signing into Windows so you simply don't need one. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.